Welcome to Prayers For You. This channel was created as an outlet for you to listen to powerful prayers that will encourage, edify, and enhance one's prayer life. So the prayers that you will find on this channel will motivate you to seek God and receive strength to persevere through all of life's mountains and valleys. However, today we're going to do a little something different. I want to talk to you guys about what prayer can do for the one who is actually praying or the one who goes before the Lord to pray. Now, over time, I realized that prayer was not what most people thought it was, or at least not that I thought it was. So just as we speak to our friends and family members about situations that takes place in our lives, prayer is the same approach, going to God and revealing to him every circumstance we are facing, such as needing physical healing, financial breakthrough, anger, loneliness, addiction, debt, grief, divorce, betrayal, so much more, whatever you go through, you could talk to God about it. Now, since God is invisible, sometimes we perceive him to be unapproachable and unavailable to us, but that's not the case. Now, is there a formula to prayer? Some will say yes, others will say no. I say, approach praying the way that, that works best for you. Scripture states that when we do not know what to pray, the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. So even if you do not know what to pray or how to pray, it's okay. Because what's in your heart, Holy Spirit knows it and will acknowledge it. So I have come to understand that even crying is also a form of prayer. So cry because God sees our tears and he knows the message and emotions behind them. So let's go back to the original question. What can prayer do for the one who prays? Now, prayer is an essential part of an individual's life. Whether they refuse to pray or not, it is essential, especially if you're a Christian, especially if you're a believer. But I believe even unbelievers could pray to God and just say, hey, Lord, what's going on? It's okay. You know, it's just communication with God above. So number one, when you pray, God gets excited. Just like a parent, when a child comes running to them with open arms, wanting to give hugs and kisses, or even a child that is crying because it's hungry, or you know they hurt themselves, or they, they, they don't have a toy. It doesn't matter. God gets excited. He is eager to listen to your petitions as you make them known to him. God says to go boldly to his throne of grace, so go. God is so good to us that he will even answer before you call on him. And while you are talking about your very needs and what concerns you, he will go ahead and answer your prayers. That's the confidence we can have in God because his promises and his word never returns unto him void. So if he said that he will answer before you even finish praying, you know the solution and breakthrough is on the way. And just as a parent, when a child gets injured or cry, a child is crying, what the parent is running to their beck and call, wanting to give a solution, wanting to ease their pain. That's the same way God is. He gets excited when we come to him because he knows that we cannot do everything by ourselves. We need him. We need his strength. We need his comfort. We need his love. So even when we go to God in prayer, make your petitions known unto him. Let him know your fears and your anxieties, anything that's going on. And let me tell you, he will come running with open arms to help you. And that is the confidence that we have in him. So number two, prayer also builds confidence in you praying. The more you pray, the more confident you become. I had to learn that because I wasn't always good praying. And I still don't believe I'm still good at praying. But at the same time, I still go before the Lord and make my requests known and pray on behalf of other people. So when you begin to see the fruitfulness of the man or the manifestation of your prayers, there is an assurance that you get knowing that God hears you and he delivers the response you are seeking. So with that confidence, just know that the way God answers prayers also will not always happen the same way because God doesn't do, perform miracles the same way over and over again. He is creative and he wants to be creative in how he answers our prayers, how he performs those miracles. And so when he wants us to see his creativity in the results, that's how we will know it was through him and that he's going to bring the answers that we are seeking to fruition. So more you pray, the more confident you become. The more you pray, the more you will see how God's miraculous hand is going to be upon your life. And he is going to show you the way that he answers and how he delivers the answers that you are seeking for. 
Number three, when we pray, the devil trembles and we are strengthened in our kingdom legislation. So Satan knows that if our eyes are awakened to the truth of God's power in us, he will no longer have control. God said that he has given us the power and authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy so that nothing shall by enemies harm you. You can read that in Luke 10 verse 19. But then also Jesus told the disciples in Mark 9 that the reason why they couldn't defeat the evil one was because it could only be, they could only be defeated by prayer. So in other words, God was reminding disciples that they do not have the ability to defeat the forces of darkness in their own earthly strength. That level of power to defeat the devil belongs to God. However, God's hand is moved through our prayers. That's why we need to go to him. So the more that we pray, yes, the devil trembles and he must flee. But on the other hand, we become strengthened in our kingdom legislation with the authority we have in knowing that through our prayers and petitions, the more we go to the father, the more we reveal to him what is going on in our lives and the, the, the response that we're seeking from the Lord, God will answer and he will defeat the evil one on our behalf. You think a parent wants to see a child getting beat up by their enemy? No, God doesn't want to see that either. So the more that we pray to the Lord and be like, yo, God, like, come rescue me. This is what's happening. The more you pray, the more there's power in your prayer. There's power in your voice. You know, scripture says that life and death is in the power of your tongue. So when you don't say anything, when you speak of defeat, that's basically saying to the Lord, hey, I don't need you to come and rescue me. I don't need you to defeat the devil. You know, I'm just going to speak death over myself and over, you know, the situation. God was like, no, I need you to speak life. When you come to me in prayer, I need you to speak life. And when you speak life, I will come running. I will come deliver. I will come fight the battle for you. But you have to know you that's listening. You have to know that you have the authority and the power within you. When you become a child of the Lord, the most high God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, what happens? The Holy Spirit dwells in us. The Holy Spirit empowers us. The Holy Spirit equips us. So as we go to the Lord in prayer, what happens? We get a refreshing. Our spirit, the, the anointing that's in our lives are ignited. And we become more powerful, more powerful even in praying in our approach to praying as well as the confidence. But lastly, when you pray, what happens to you? God reveals his heart to you. Through his Holy Spirit, we start to show you in visions, in dreams, what is the heart of God? You become so in tune with the spirit of God that you know when he's moving, you know when he is grieved, you know when he is sending you to go right, left, north, south, east, west, you know his heart, you know his love towards you because you will feel it more and more each day. So when you pray, God reveals his heart to you. God equips you for great and mighty things. He will equip you for great works, but also when, when you pray, not only will God reveal his heart to you, but he will reveal to you the heart of other people, not in a bad way, but to place on your heart and in your mind, the need and the willingness to pray for other people based off of what's going on in their lives. So if their heart is troubled, if their spirit is troubled, God will reveal it to you and be like, hey, sweetheart, hey, son, hey, daughter, I need you to pray. Come to me and pray. And like I said in the beginning, if you don't know how to pray for a person, don't worry, Holy Spirit. We'll go to the Father and make utterances on our behalf that we may not understand it, but Holy Spirit and God knows. God knows. So when you pray, you are equipped, you are empowered to do great and mighty things. So I caution you and I, and I plead with you to come back to this channel and listen to the prayers. Build up your faith in praying. As I continue to build in prayer, as I continue to put these videos out there to pray for you, pray for your loved ones, join with me. Join with me in this prayer, in these prayers, in these videos. Subscribe, right? So you never miss out. But just know that the more you pray to the Lord, the more you draw closer to him, 
he abides in you and you abide in him. 